Okay. So this is number chapter three, number thirty-one. Feel free to ask questions if you have any. Uh, so basically, diethylene glycol used to de-ice aircraft is a carbon-hydrogen-oxygen mixture. So carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. We'll just go X, Y, Z. We don't know how much of each there is. And it gives us the percentages of 40, uh, let's see, this is it, 45.27. Oh, welcome. We're doing chapter 3, number 31. Okay. Uh, and then it gives us hydrogen, 9.50. Percent. Is that okay? Okay. And thus, how would we find oxygen? Add those together. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. So, uh, I assume you could figure that out. 100 minus 9.5 minus 45.2. That's the percent of oxygen. No problem? Mm -hmm. Okay. If somebody finds it, you can tell me, and I will write it down. Uh, 0.45, or, yeah, add to the... Oh, great, great. What did you get? I did the 0.4523, but I think it's 45.23%. Yeah. 45.2%. Okay, fantastic. So, now what we're going to do, if we're talking about empirical formula, the key is moles. So we want to go to moles. Right now we have nothing, just percents. So what we're going to do, this is the easy way, okay? Whenever they give you percentages, uh, you can convert those to mass very easily. You just assume that you have 100 grams. Thus, everything here changes to grams. I have 45.2 grams of carbon, 9.5 grams of hydrogen, 45.2 grams of oxygen. And now, we're on easy street because we're going to convert grams to moles for each one. So let's try carbon first. Carbon is 45.2. That's percent, so I'm going to divide by 100 to, uh, oh no, actually, I, I said it was grams. Is that okay? I'm just assuming that many grams. So this is actually grams of carbon right here. It was percent, and I said let's just make it grams, you can do it any time you got percent. Okay, molar mass of carbon, you can look it up on your pre table, but it's about 12.01 grams per mole. There we go. Moles of carbon. We'll do the same for everything else. Hydrogen is, oh, we're assuming, 9.5 grams. And its molar mass is 1.008 grams per mole, also from the periodic table. So this will convert to moles of hydrogen. Okay? And then oxygen, same thing, 45.2 grams. And from the periodic table, it's about 16.00 grams per mole. And that's moles. Wow. So far, okay? All right. So then, let's get another color. Top one is X, next one's Y, last one's Z. Is that okay? All right. Uh, and so, if we want to calculate it now, if you're fast with the calculator, we can do that. If not, you just take these numbers, divide by the smallest, so that these are now whole numbers that are small, and you're done. Sound good? You can take it from there? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions on this one? All right, we're done.